Hello friends and welcome to another edition of Michelle's Preschool Video Classroom. Today we're going to read the story An Extraordinary Egg by Leo Leone. On Pebble Island there li lived three frogs, Marilyn, August, and one who was always somewhere else. I wonder where she goes. That one's name was Jessica. Jessica was full of wonder. She would go on long walks way to the other side of Pebble Island, return at the end of the day shouting, look what I found. And even if it was nothing but an ordinary little pebble, she would say, isn't it extraordinary? But Marilyn and August were never impressed. One day in a mound of stones, she found one that stood out from all the others. It was perfect white like the snow and round like a full moon in a midsummer's night. Even though it was almost as big as she was, Jessica decided to bring the stone home. I wonder what Marilyn and August will say when they see this, she thought, as she rolled the beautiful stone to the small inlet where the, the three of them lived. Hmm. I wonder if it's really a stone. Look what I found, she shouted triumphantly, a huge pebble. This time Marilyn and August were truly astonished. That's not a pebble, said Marilyn, who knew almost everything about everything. It's an egg, a chicken egg. A chicken egg? How do you know it's a chicken egg, asked Jessica, who had never even heard of chickens. Marilyn smiled. There are some things you just know. Hmm. I wonder if that's true. A few days later, the frogs heard a strange noise coming from the egg. They watched in amazement as the egg cracked and out crawled a long, scaly creature that walked on four legs. See, exclaimed Marathon, I was right. It's a chicken. A chicken, they all shouted. The chicken took a deep breath, grunted, and gave each astonished frog a look and said in a small, raspy voice, Here's the water. Straight ahead, the frogs cried excitedly. Hmm, it doesn't look like a chicken to me. I wonder what kind of animal that is. The chicken threw herself into the water and the frogs dove in after her. To their surprise, the chicken was a very good swimmer and fast too. And she showed them new ways to float and paddle. They had a wonderful time together and played from sun up to sundown. And so it went for many, many days. Then one day, when Jessica was somewhere else, August and Marilyn saw a commotion in the water. Below, someone was in trouble. Quickly, the chicken dove into the dark pool. August and Marilyn were frightened. Oh, what's happened? A few, after a few long moments, the chicken reappeared, carrying Jessica. I'm all right, she called. I just got tangled in the weeds, but the chicken saved me. That was very nice. From that day on, Jessica and her rescuer were inseparable friends, and whenever Jessica went to the chi the chicken went too. They traveled all over the island. They went to Jessica's secret thinking place. Mm. Do you have a secret thinking place? And to the Great Pebble Monument. Ooh. One day, they went to a place where Jessica had never been before. A red and blue bird flew down from a tree. Oh, there you are, it exclaimed when it saw the chicken. Your mother has been looking all over for you. Come, and I will take you to her. Hmm. I'm going to take the chicken to its mama. They followed the bird for a very long time. They walked and they walked. They walked under the warm sun and the cool moon, and then... They came upon the most extraordinary creature that they had ever seen. I wonder what kind of creature it is. It was asleep, but when it heard the little chicken shout, Mother, it slowly opened one eye, smiled an enormous smile, and in a voice as gentle as the whispering grass, said, Come here, my sweet little alligator. And the little chicken climbed happily up on its mother's nose. Now it's time for me to go, said Jessica. I will miss you very much, little chicken. 
Come and visit us soon and bring your mother too. That's not a chicken, that's an alligator. Silly frogs. Jessica couldn't wait to tell Marilyn and August what had happened, and she, as she neared the inlet, she shouted, Guess what I found? And she told them all about it. And do you know what the mother chicken said to her baby? Jessica asked. She called her my sweet little alligator. <gasps> alligator, said Marilyn. What a silly thing to say. And all three frogs couldn't stop laughing. The end. That was a really good story, wasn't it, friends? You know, this is Easter weekend, and some of you might be coloring Easter eggs. Some of you might have an Easter egg hunt in your house or in your backyard. If you would like to draw a picture of some of the little animals in the book that we had today, or make a picture of an Easter egg that you've decorated on paper, you can share that with me because I'd really love to see it. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.